It's after dinner time, and 75-year-old Leticia Sanchez is already working on tomorrow's dinner. Her 8-year-old granddaughter, Bianca Rosal, described her as someone who constantly does housework. She takes out the garbage, and she gets scraps of pieces on the floor and picks them up when, when she has, even when she has a bad back. While many retirees prefer to relax, Leticia refuses to do just that. I will need to stop to do everything because once I stop, maybe I will die. <laughs> Even though she jokes about it, the idea of death is familiar to her on a deeper level. She grew up in the Philippine province of Bataan and was eight years old during the Japanese invasion in World War II. Her uncles and grandparents were among the 100,000 Filipino and American prisoners starved and abused during the 88-kilometer death march. One morning we were playing in the beach with my friend, all my friends, and then suddenly we were shooting and, uh, and near the near the sea, suddenly I saw my, my, my friend's sister really hit by the bullet and then she died inst instantly. Even though Leticia rarely talks about her experience, Edith Rosal, her eldest of four children, says that the tragedy has helped build her mom's character. Sometimes she cannot not think about it, but what can she do? Life goes on and it's, it was a sad experience, but sad experiences sometimes make people stronger. Katrina Rosal, Observer News, Toronto.